Hello all, it's Melinda. Today, Eileen and I are participating in Stretch Your Sketch group. And today's sketch is Sketch Abilities number 99. And the goal of this is to take this 12 by 12 sketch and make it a different size. Now, I don't scrap in very many different sizes. So my go-to when I don't do um, a 12 by 12 is a 9 by 12. That fits best in my albums. So today, I have these two photos. And from my kit, I'm going to pull in this paper because of the green background of the lockers. I thought this was the best. It's this floral one on the back, Pink Paisley, Auburn Line number six. And I'm going to trim this to a nine and go from there. I will put you on fast forward to let you see what happens. I'm going to start off by cutting this down to size so that I don't need to worry about keeping things where I want them. I'm going to trim the photos really close so there's a very narrow white border around them. It keeps getting narrower as I trim accidentally. I've decided to use the packaging that came with the Pink Fresh Studio letters. It's a cream with a pale gray stripe on it. I thought it would look good for um, the Polaroid looking frame I'm going to make. So I'm just making sure that the picture's in the center. And I'm not sure what happened to the video, why it's so cloudy, but it does clear up. There's the sketch again. Now I'm going to stick really close to the sketch. I'm on a time crunch and I'm thinking of using the flowers. And I remember, you know what, I have a whole bunch of cut flowers already from the Infemina pack, so I'm going to use those. So I'm going to pull this together, put a couple green pieces, pull some more flowers that I'm going to pop up on pop dots before I'm done. Do a little fussing. Try to figure out anything else I want to add to it. Just try some things from the kit. I know I want to use a doily, but I can tell you that I don't like this doily. It's square. So I think if I offset it, it would work. So I cut it in half and think, yeah, I'm going to, that'll, I think that'll work. I've decided to take the lighter side of this paper and cut a large base for all this to sit on. And I'm going to measure just by pinching it off and seeing about how big I want it. It's even cut crooked. And I decide that the doily has to be on top of that or else it gets lost. And I'm trying to, I want another, a darker piece. So I go to this one. It's dark navy blue on black. And it's a Heidi Swap, and I just bent a little bit of corner so I could figure out how wide, and I'm just going to rip it. Now, when I first put it on there, I think, oh, I cut it too sh too small, but I'm going to make it work. I'm going to fuss with it a little bit, and then I had to stop the video and go to work real quick. And I left everything like it was, and when I came back, I changed the doily out to a round one because I just could not make it work. 
I decided I needed to do tabs and I was going to punch it out of the paper, the leftover paper, but I realized that you're not going to see the middle of these. So I'm going to punch tabs out of the middle of them and no one will know the difference. The sketch had like tabbed layers here, so I like the idea. And I offset them a little bit from where the sketch had them because it made more sense for what I was doing. I'm going to pull a little bits and bobbles from the ephemera pack and see if I can get them to work besides the flowers. I know I want something up there where the doily meets the layers. And I try a few things out. I like that pink little flower spray. And I know I have another flower. So I'm using the things that I thought I wouldn't use as the as all the flower parts, but I'm using them on a couple layouts now. So as of right now, everything's kind of floating and I gotta figure out my title. It's gonna be simply a uh, sixth grader sixth grader and this is a is the font that I pulled in the thickers that I pulled in from my stash and I thought that I wanted the sixth to be bigger but I realized I like just the six to be the big size and I'm going to use the rose gold small thickers that came in the kit to write the, the TH and then greater. I decided that I need to put journaling on a tag, so I pulled this from my stash. It's just a gold top tag. I assume I got it at Michael's. And I'm going to pull in some gold and white twine to thread through it. As of right now, everything's kind of just floating around. So I've got to get everything attached to one layer at a time. It's the easiest way to make sure everything looks how I want it to look. I'm going to start at the top and go down and then just as I is needed. Now I realize that the tag is going to need a pocket and that had a bit of a sticky part in it. To figure out where that goes. I can figure out where the pocket's got to go. And I take fun foam cut it in half to run a channel on each side for the tag to flow through and then a stopper on the bottom I'm going to peel it all up and then I'm going to need a backer piece just to keep the pocket from being part of the other layer I'm going to trim it up make sure it moves I have two doilies so that I can offset them and make them a little bit fluffier in the layers and get all that. Now I'm going to put all the little bobbly pieces on. Now this is all still not attached to the background. I'm going to sprinkle the background so I need it to be free of this layer. I'm going to just stick all the flower pieces in here. Some of them I'm going to tuck under layers and other ones I'm going to pop up with my dimensional zot. Just here and there. Tuck these white flowers in. The title I'm going to stick right down here on the photo mat. And I'm going to sprinkle with Heidi Schwab gold from the bottom left to the top right. I'm going to set it aside so I can get it to dry without removing some of it. I'm going to work on my journaling. It's just a tag from my stash and I'm going to draw lines, write in pencil, and then go over it in the marker. It says 2018, you are in 6.2 group and you your locker is taller than you are. You are eager to start the year and nervous of your locker com. 
Now I have a little bit of difficult time getting it in the pocket because one of the layers is not attached down so it's in the way. I'm going to trim the string and decide exactly where I'm going to put it and use score tape to adhere this down. Now I'm going to show you the sketch and there's a lot of parts and pieces on this sketch that I did not put on here because of the shrinking of its size. I didn't want to overwhelm it. But that is the layout. Thank you for watching. Below I will link all the ladies that are doing this challenge and I'll also link you to Eileen's page. Thank you for watching. Bye.